let me encourage you to, to continue to make your relationship a one flesh relationship as the Bible instructs us. Uh, this first of all, of all is to love each other. So that Christ loves us, and First Corinthians says it best. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. It is not irritable, and it keeps no record of being wrong. It does not rejoice about injustice, but rejoices whenever the truth wins out. Love never gives up. Love never loses faith, is always hopeful, and endures through every circumstance. Three things will last forever, faith, hope, and love, and the greatest series is love. A one fresh relationship is also a companionship, uh, which involves mutual commitment and responsibility. And you'll share alike in these responsibilities and the joys of life. When companions share a sorrow, the sorrows have, and when they share a joy, the joy is double. The greatest commandment is to love the Lord your God with everything that you are. Uh, to do this, you must take His Word, the Bible, uh, as your guide, give loyal devotion to His church, and stay focused on uh, stay focused on this will give you an abundant and joyful and incredible marriage. Do you like it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like it. Uh-huh. I like it. They are no longer two but one. Let no one split apart what God has joined together. You may kiss your bride. I would like to introduce you to Mr. and Mrs. James Stone. I would do anything for you. Build a castle up around you if I could figure out how to. Would fight anyone for you if you got a bone to pick with King Kong. I would tell him, Bring it on. Tell me what you want, tell me what you need. I'll give it all I got, give you everything. Tell me what to say, tell me how to be there for you. Tell me what you need.
everything for you to make it through the night tell me what it takes to make it all Tell me what it takes, tell me how to be there for you.